Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a customized welcome page to your survey within Salesforce. So a few things before we get started is that we do need to have surveys enabled and that's just a quick, in the quick find going underneath surveys and then enabling it. Once you have done that, then go over here to the three by three and search for surveys. All right, let's go ahead and create a new survey here. And that should open up the survey builder. I'm going to call this customer satisfaction survey and click continue. All right, and so it'll bring us to the welcome page here. So we can start out by entering a welcome message. I'm going to start off by saying thank you for being interested in our product, please take this, let's say five to 10 minute survey to help us do better. I find it really helpful that when you are going to be giving a survey that you tell them how long it will take them to go through if you will be giving them like a drawing for a gift card for taking the survey or whatnot, just give them all the information that they need within this first little welcome page blurb. So a few things that we can do, we can change the font of this to help us or to be more on brand with our company brand. So I'm gonna change this, let's do times. There we go. And then we can also change the font size if we feel like it's too small or too big or we want to enter in anymore. We can do bullets over here. We can change it to numbers, go forward, backward, change how we are orienting everything. We could add a picture, strike through, very much some of your simple word editing tools or uh, blurb editing tools. Let's go ahead and jump over to the branding side and we can show you a little bit more about how to customize this welcome page. So if we wanted to change the image, we would be able to click here and upload a file. Maybe we wanted this to be the company name or we wanted this to just be more of an image of something indicative of our brand. What else we can do is we can remove the background image and we could add a background color instead. Now I recommend getting from your marketing team the specific hex color code for your brand if you are going to go with a color to be more indicative of your company or group that you work for. So let's go ahead and go with maybe a dark blue. I'm gonna click there. And now that's a little bit bright. We can change the opacity. If we were going with a file picture, the opacity would make it a little bit more reserved of a color or a background image. We could also do a blur. Up here we can add a logo and then we can do the logo alignment. Change the logo background. So here we can change the button labels. If we wanted to change, let's say, the next button, if we wanted to change it to maybe next question or continue, then we would be able to do that here as well as the previous button, pause button, and finish button labels. We can also change the question color that is here. So if we wanted it to be red, we could do that, but because this is not a question, it's just a thank you page. We can change the answer question, and then we can change the button color as well. So maybe we want it to be like a gray. We could do that, and the previous button as well. You can also change the text color of those, maybe to make it pop just a little bit more. But those are some of the basics when you are customizing a welcome page to your Salesforce survey. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at EmilyCallMBA. Um, check out the blog at salesforceemily.com and I'll catch you guys in the next one.